Hey YouTube, um, this video is going to be part, I think, three of the building and configuring your own file slash web server. So in this part we're going to do the um, file sharing part of building the server. This is just the very basic version. You could make a very a more advanced version like SSH clients or FTP clients, but I'm just going to, for the pure thing of sim simplicity, I'm just going to show you how to do this easily. With most, um, if not all, Windows computers, you can do this with, but I'm doing it on the server slash folding computer in my last video. And um, running Windows XP. So, to do this, just go to start my computer and here you'll get a list of your drives so depending on which one you want to share you can either share the entire drive by going right clicking on the drive going down to properties then going down to sharing clicking I understand the risk blah 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 and then you can share the um, the uh, thing by going down to the where it says network sharing and security. Share this folder on the network, and type in the share name. Um, and also, if you want, you can click allow network users to change my files. That means you can create files or and or delete them on a different computer on the network. I'm not going to do that right now. So, but another way you can do it is go to click on the file and go create folder I'm just gonna do that because I already have one that has some nothing in it right now but it will soon um, and click on um, right click the folder go down to properties um, there's two options you'll see one is sharing one is web sharing this is for ISS for sharing it on an FTP thing. We're not going to do this right now. So just go to the sharing tab, share this folder on the network, type in the name that you want, and check allow network users to change my files if you so desire. It's, and then you can also just change the icon or whatever. It's that simple. And then to access it, this isn't on the same network, so it's not going to show up. But to access it, you are going to want to go to um, Start uh, Computer, and then this is for Windows 7. See down there where it says Network? I'm going to click that, and it should come up with um, a list of computers on your network. And the computer that you want, this is um, localhost right here. This says laptop PC, that's my laptop. So I'm just going to click that just to show you what it would do. And most of the time you would need a password for um, to connect. So you type in your username and password and then hit use, go to the file users and it should have all your shared folders in here and or shared files. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to boot up my Ubuntu machine and because this has a shared stuff on it I will show you just what it would look like might take a sec but it's it's pretty simple but if you're going to do wireless like I have uh, two wireless networks in here um, make sh you might s be like, oh, there's both machines are on. Why isn't it not letting me see the files? Make sure that the computer is connected to the same network as the other computer. I've had that problem. I have home network media and home network. Um, I went to go find a file and I couldn't find it because it wasn't on the same network. So just to avoid any hassle, make sure they're on the same thing. Yes, I do have three computers that are myself. I know I'm a nerd. <laughs> okay. 
Now that this is on and it's connected to the internet, we're going to go back to my laptop. Sorry for the dizziness. Um, and as you're going to see, Kevin Desktop right there. You're going to double click that. Ah, and here's the username and password. So I'm going to put my username. password. You can um, put remember my credentials if you want. Oh, and then you hit OK and it should. Ah, here we go. And it's unlocked. And then you have your shared documents and videos. I have my videos here uh, and my shared documents. So basically this is the client and that's the server. But of course, you wouldn't be doing that. To do this on XP, um, you go down to my network places, and it should be in here. Um, or if they're on the same work group, if you work group computers, and it should be in there. But then now uh, the computer's frozen because there's no <laughs> work, group, work group computers on there. To do this on Linux, on Ubuntu, Gonna want to go to um, places. The top. Go to computer. So I think it's in here. Um, ah, and go to where it says network. And then you have your. Um, computers here and then you can just it's the same with the uh, th with the windows you click and um, it says password required and then you do that and can then connect and then you have your files or an easier way is just go places and then network if you know the IP address too you can hit connect to server but we don't need to do that so that was the um, thing for the file sharing. I will do the uh, web sharing or the website soon as long um, as I remember how to do it because I haven't um, done a lot with my IIS stuff lately so I'm a little bit rusty but once I learn more about it I will tell you about it. So thanks for watching.